my Shabbat Shalom. I just wanted to share a really quick, beautiful thought on Parshat Bayakel because my fiance, Chaim Goldberg, shared with me a Dvar Torah he wrote, and it's really awesome. And I just want to share a really quick part of it. Um, so if you look at last week's Parsha, Kitisa, and this week's Parsha, Bayakel, there's an interesting thing that's going on. Last week, it talks all about the Mishkan and the tabernacle. And after it talks about that concept and the building of it, talks about the concept of Shabbat right afterwards. And this week's Parsha talks about those same two concepts again, but in a flipped order. And it first talks about the concept of Shabbat, and then it talks about the concept of the Mishkan and the tabernacle. So the question is, first of all, why the repetition? And why is it talked about in a reversed order? So the Sfas MS brings down a really nice idea. In order to understand it, we first have to look at what Shabbat is. So the Svas Emes points out that the week and Shabbat are not separate things. You might think to yourself, oh, like, you know, I work Sunday through Friday, I have a job, I go to school, and then once Friday comes, the week is over, and then I have Shabbat, which is a separate, beautiful thing. Svas Emes says, no, that's not how it works. Shabbat is actually the peak of the week, and how the week works is that you work every day, and you're leading up to Shabbat. And what happens on Friday is you say, yeah, I'm in the middle of my work week, but even though I'm in the middle, I'm going to stop everything and I'm gonna take this time to just dedicate a day to Hashem and to acknowledge that God is the master of the entire world. And that's what Shabbat is. So essentially the whole week, the whole purpose of the entire week is to get to that point on Shabbat where you stop and say everything that I've done until this point is to reach this moment where I can fuse together the physical world and the spiritual world and have Shabbat. And that's the purpose of everything is to acknowledge that Hashem is the one who runs the world. And so that's how you have the Mishkan, which is the concept of the week and building and creativity, and that's the work week. That's over six days. And in Kitisa, it's talked about before the concept of Shabbat because the Mishkan builds up to Shabbat. And on Shabbat, they stopped building and they were able to fuse the two ideas together. And that was the ideal of what Shabbat was supposed to be. But then what happens between Kitisa and this week's Parsha Vayakel? The sin of the golden calf. And what happened with that is that the Jewish people took the physical and took material things in the world and totally corrupted them. And they didn't use it as a way to reach that spiritual level. They used it to do other things and to, you know, commit idolatry. And it was a total mess up in a big time way. And after that, suddenly Shabbat had to take on a whole new role. Instead of becoming the peak, because, you know, clearly the Jewish people weren't able to reach that. Instead, Shabbat took on the form of becoming the springboard for the week. Instead of being the conclusion of the week, Shabbat became the beginning of the week and the start of creating a foundation for the entire week so that you can have Shabbat, energize your spirituality, and use that to power through the next week. And that's why in Parashat Vayaka, after the Son of the Golden Calf, the Mishkan is talked about after talking about Shabbat. Yeah, I got that right. Meaning that first it's Shabbat is talked about to talk about how you have to build up that spirituality on Shabbat in order to power through the work week. And nowadays, I think that, you know, we can kind of use Shabbat as both roles. On the one hand, Shabbat is the conclusion of the week, and we can use Shabbat to sort of reflect on what happened during the week and sort of take all those stresses that came up during the week and just throw them away and just refresh, rejuvenate, click into our spirituality. On the other hand, we also use Shabbat as a springboard to energize ourselves and to be able to use that energy and that strength to get us through the following week. And with that, I really wish all of you a very Shabbat Shalom and a beautiful Shabbat where you're able to reflect on everything that happened in the past week, but also use it as energy to springboard into the future week and, um, and have a wonderful week ahead. Shabbat Shalom.